kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's it going today? Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> We're in the Detroit and we are on our way to uh, where Antoine works actually. Uh, the seed cleaners to pick up uh, the first truckload of barley seed. It'll be about four truckloads in total. Um, oh, about 40 minutes kind of sort of drive from home to the seed cleaner. Uh, usually I would use the seed cleaner that's only a couple miles from home. But they're doing some work and uh, they would be ready for a little while here. Well, Antoine and them were on barley. So I thought, whatever, get her done there. So it's, uh, they're working on it right now. Mine's the last stuff they were doing. And that way, when they clean the system out before they switch over into flax, uh, I can get the extra couple bushels of screenings that clean out of the system. So that'll be already good for the cows to eat that way. But Anyway, um, yeah, we're just on our way here and all, so we get back when we get there. load here uh, 622 bushels had room for probably another 50 or so give or take but I don't think there's much point loading the shit out of the truck because so I'm gonna have to do it in a few trips regardless so anyway start getting her dumped here
worked out all right. Had to throw a bit of fuel in it anyways. So um, they're not open tomorrow, Sunday. So we'll have to haul the last load of clean grain Monday, and then the screenings obviously in the afternoon or whatever after that. So that'll be all right anyways. So uh, yeah, I guess. clean seed. I never videoed anymore last night because I didn't realize my phone was so low and it died on me. So, such is life. Anyway, get this emptied out and then we're going to go back in the shop here and uh, work on Army. Dad's been working on it here all morning while I was fucking around with other stuff. So, um, clutch is in it and what have you. He's about ready to roll back together. So, I will talk to you when we're there. Okie dokie, so we're in the shop here now, again, obviously. Um, Dad just about has it all buttoned up again here. Would have been quicker if we had a book to see how some things went, but anyway. Don't make fun of me because they don't know how to read. <laughs> so the new starter is on. Um, I put his new seat on yesterday and I had to make a little adapter plate for it to be able to go on there um, Obviously the new clutch and everything is already installed in there um, Remember I was saying there's no common plug on the wiring harness so we cut it and we put Connectors everywhere So the next time it'll be a little bit uh, nicer for old straight pipe acres there when he's working on it, so um yeah, we just have to tighten down the fuel tank and put the dash and stuff back into place. And she should be ready for a test fire here, so I suppose I'll bring you back here in a couple minutes. Well, Amanda has never ran one of the Versatiles before. And I kind of talked her into going and pushing snow because that's a good job for her to learn how to run the tractor and what have you and she was kind of nervous about it that was two hours ago and now she's out here in the dark doing ah <laughs> oh, jeez I uh, had a tire blow out on me here the other day so She's kind of, she's seven-legged right now instead of eight, but. Just the outside dual, so not a big deal. It can run flat anyway. We already drove it once because it took off on its own because the free play wasn't set right, but it it, it is now. <laughs> Won't start now because I'm videoing you. Yeah, that's good. Safety first. Look at that. Isn't that nice? There it is. And we made a... <laughs> made a discovery about the PTO. 
explain the PTO there, how ingenious it is. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Try that again. I didn't want to listen to you. <laughs> Apparently it's engaged when the lever's down. Disengaged when it's up. But when you disengage it, it's using the uh, uh, release bearing. So to leave the PTO off all the time, you're running that bearing all the time. And uh, instead of actually putting pressure onto it, like what we're used to with the John Deere's, when you engage it, is the only time that it pushes on the bearing when it's engaged and running it. When you release it, it takes the pressure off, but this one here, it's the opposite, so. You run Make it. sure you grease it lots. <laughs> That's right, grease it lots. Because there was a lot of grease in it, apparently, there when we took it apart, so. Well, there but, was some grease in it. Mind you, maybe it was because it got a little hot with the way those fingers are melting. Yeah, maybe. This was pretty fiery looking. <laughs> Anyways, so that's that. Put the loader on it tomorrow and go put a couple bales out with the old girl and try her out. Ryan sent it with the grapple fork just for us to try it, so. <laughs> I'm putting it on the mix now. Oh, you're going to try it, are you? Well, yeah, you'll be able to if I go pick up screenings there from Canets, so. No, I'm not putting it on the mix now. Well, he wants you to. Blow the PTO apart. And it'll explode. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's it for today, so. Hey, anybody know how much free play there's supposed to be in that pedal? Well, hopefully we have the answer to that before this video is up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, so there, one more little project done. So, I guess, thank you much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. That'll sound good on someone's headphones. <laughs> Talk to you in the next one.